and welcome back to Homeschooly HQ. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's lesson and I hope that somewhere in your kitchen or in your house you set yourself a little estimation station up. Don't forget to send us a picture of it on Instagram or Twitter. The links are down below. Today we're going to look at a little book, one of my favourites that I love reading with our ballet called What the Ladybird Heard. Don't panic too much if you don't have this book. You can find links to it uh, on YouTube where people will read it to you and we'll leave a, a link or two down below for you to have a little look at. So in today's lesson, we're gonna learn how to write a very simple poem that you can adapt and write for lots of different things. So the first thing you obviously need to do is go and read the book. So if you've got it, go grab it, pause our video now, go and read the book. If you haven't got it, we'll leave some links down below for you to watch it instead. So we're gonna look at using nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs in this poem. Don't worry too much if you're not too sure what a noun, an adjective, a verb or an adverb is. I've already done a little bit of research there and a little bit of homework and I've used BBC Bite Size to help me just to remember what those parts of the language are. So I'll leave the links for those down below as well. So the first part of our poem is going to be a noun. Now the name, a noun is the name of something, so like Bella or Liverpool or a book. So our noun for our poem, well, we're going to write it about our main character, which is the ladybird. So the noun for our poem, oops, is going to be ladybird. So then we move on to our two objectives, okay? An adjective, now, is a word that describes a noun. So in this sentence, it was a terrible book. So terrible being the adjective. It's describing the noun, and the noun being the word book. So we've got to think of some adjectives to describe our ladybird. So again, we can look through our book, discuss it, talk to each other about it. What sort of adjectives could we come up with to describe the ladybird? Now, I think in our book, the ladybird is extremely clever. So I'm gonna use that as one of our adjectives. And I also know because it says she doesn't speak where does it say? Let me find it. The ladybird never said a word. So she's definitely quiet. So I've got my two adjectives, clever and quiet. And those adjectives are describing my noun, the ladybird. So now we're on to our verbs, three verbs. A verb is to use, is used to describe an action. Mm. So we now need to have a little look through the book and discuss what sort of actions the ladybird does. So we're trying to find some verbs to describe the act, which describes the actions of the ladybird. Now within this book, the ladybird does lots and lots of different actions. Here she is here, she's crawling. So definitely use that one as one of my verbs. She crawled. She also flies or she flew to the different animals. So I'm gonna write down she flew. And one of my favorite ones, and I'll actually give Bella some credit for this Yay! one. In, in this picture, you can see the, the ladybird going to all the different animals and she's actually somersaulting. What a great verb that is. So I'm gonna use somersaulting, or I'm gonna actually write somersaulted. So there are my three verbs, crawled, flew, and somersaulted. We're now then moving on to our adverbs. And for our poem, we want four adverbs. And an adverb is a word that describes the verb. So how she crawled, how she flew, how she somersaulted. So for example, my example here is, he ate his breakfast quickly. Now what you'll find with a lot of adverbs is that they have this L-Y end at the end of them. Not all adverbs do, but a lot of them do, and that makes it a lot more fun. So let's just have a little think of how our ladybird crawled, flew, or somersaulted. So the next part of my poem is to find four adverbs to go or to describe my verbs. So I'm trying to describe how the ladybird crawled, how she flew, or how she somersaulted. Now one of those ones I really like is, and quite a simple one, is slowly. So we could say, she slowly crawled. We should, could also say, the ladybird slowly and carefully crawled. Now, let's try and think of one that describes how she flew. Now she flew to all the animals to give them 
lots of lots of instructions, but she did it really quickly. So I'm going to use the adverb quickly. She flew quickly. The ladybird flew quickly. Now we mentioned the word somersaulted before, and this adverb I magpied from the BBC Bite Size uh, website. I love this word expertly. So we can say that she expertly, expertly somersaulted. So now I have my four adverbs to match or to describe my three verbs. Well done everyone for doing such a fantastic job so far. We've got our nouns, we've got our objectives, we've got our verbs and our adverbs. And now to put all time to put all this together to write our poem. So we're going to write our poem. We're going to start with our noun as our title, which we said is going to be ladybird. Now we're going to use our adjectives and we can just write that quite simply by saying the ladybird was clever and quiet. Or if we're a little bit older, we could try and expand that sentence even more and become more of a complex sentence. But we'll just keep quite simple. The ladybird, she was clever and quiet. Now we're going to use the verbs and the adverbs. Okay, so we're going to take, let's start off with she crawled. And we're going to use one of the adverbs or two of the adverbs to describe how she crawled. She crawled, I'm going to say slowly and carefully. Slowly and carefully. Now I'm going to move on to describe how she flew. And we've got some great adverbs there. We could use either of them expertly or quickly, but I'm going to stick with quickly. She flew quickly. And I love this adverb that I magpied expertly. So I'm going to have she somersaulted expertly, full stop. And that's it. There's my nice simple poem about the ladybird. So here's my finished poem. Very simple, but using our nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. Ladybird. The ladybird, she was clever and quiet. She crawled slowly and carefully. She flew quickly. She somersaulted expertly. Now I always like right at the end to do a nice little drawing just to go with our poem or our piece of writing. So I'm gonna finish my poem off with a nice little bit of artwork. So I'm gonna draw the ladybird from the books. So we start off by just doing a simple line and a semicircle. Then we put our another sort of circle there, semicircle there. We have our two eyes for our ladybird. We have our antennae at the top of our head, and we have six stick legs. And then obviously to make it a ladybird, we need our spots. And we can put as many spots on as we like. Now, if you want to learn lots more about how to draw the characters from this book, we'll leave the link down to the, uh, Lydia Monks' website, YouTube channel down below, so you can also draw lots of the characters from the book as well. So here's my challenge to you. Why don't you go and try and write your own poem using my structure about one of the other characters from the story? Don't forget to share it with us and subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's lesson, and we'll see you then. Bye now.